one, two, oh! 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 oh. oh. Bear. 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 Oh! Oh, what a move there by Eric St. Clair. Now Hojo and St. Clair have... Oh, big oh. chop across the chest. Fans, here we go with our next contest. John Heartbreak against Joey Johnson. And, and you know, we were just talking about this man, but joining us here at the table uh, with probably a, 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 an injury update is Hercules Cortez. Hercules, I know you were hurt last week. A little bit of a bloody nose. We've heard a hernia maybe. What is going on? Well, I just got back from the doctor's foster and um, as it turns out, I did uh, have a hernia right in my pelvis region. Um, and it's pretty bad. I mean, I, I have no clue whether or not I'm going to be able to come back. Um, it's just just awful. It's horrific. Well, hopefully, Herc, I can actually tell you this right now. From working with you in Young Bloods Militia, I just got to say that I hope at some point you'll be able to get back in the ring. And uh, I'll keep in my thoughts, brother. You know, thank you so much, my friend. All right, but since me and you are here, we might as well uh, do this here. We got a match going on between John Heartbreak oh. and Joey Johnson. And... Uh, these two very uh, young up-and-coming stars here in WBCW, brother. Absolutely, you know, I, I'm, I'm good friends with John Heartbreak. I love this kid. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. He didn't see that one coming. Nah, you know. he almost saw the front row coming, though. Well, but um, he's a good friend of mine. I, this kid's got a lot of potential. He's definitely, I'm definitely behind him all the way. Now we have, uh, with Joey Johnson, you got somebody who's trying to get the uh, the kickstart to his career. Well, Heartbreak, a former junior heavyweight champion. Yep. Uh, should be a, a proving ground for Johnson if he can actually get the win over the former junior heavyweight champion. Absolutely. You know, I'm willing to see this. I want to see what happens. Uh, this is going to be good. John Heartbreak now with the headlock onto uh, Joey Johnson. You see how he's, uh oh. He's applying that pressure, being a little vicious. Uh, Heartbreak getting a couple shots Ooh. and now throwing Johnson down. Oh, man. I think he was not, oh. Oh, look at that. Yeah, listen to the fans here. We got like competing chance for both Johnson and Heartbreak. This is very interesting. I, I wasn't, oh, I wasn't expecting that. And look at this aggressiveness. Yeah, that's what he needs. Like, I've seen him over the past few weeks. He's been a little bit relaxed, but I think ever since he lost the Junior Heavyweight Championship to Stephen Michaels several weeks ago, Absolutely. he has been turning up the intensity as best he can. Oh, yeah, and, and he's showing that right now. What's this? Is he going to follow up by. Boom! Oh, nice splash in the corner on the Johnson and throws him down to the map. Take a sack of potatoes, man. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he is definitely showing that aggression, and Wait, Johnson now back. trying to fight back. Oh! oh. Ow. That one hurt. Johnson now oh. with a splash of his own. Look at that. Kind of one upping him. Johnson now, oh. and he throws heartbreak. Threw him down. Hey, what's good for the goose is good for the gander, I guess, is oh, the, as the old saying goes. And oh, look at this. Heartbreak. Joey Johnson went for a kick and Heartbreak caught it. That's an excellent move there. And what's going on? Look like a sharpshooter. He's trying to turn him over. Joey's fighting back. Yeah, Johnson's trying to fight this thing. Oh, he's got the rope. Not Johnson's showing a bit of a good ring presence there, making sure he gets the rope. And Johnson right back on the attack. He's got them ribs. And, oh, oh. That was a low drop kick there by Joey Johnson. Thank you guys for taking over. I take care of some business there, but uh, you know Joey Johnson just all over heartbreak here and heart. Oh, oh what? No. 
What a low blow right behind the referee's did, back. Did he just knock him out with that? You know, that's your man in there. That's hey. your man. Hey, well, you know what? He's learned from the best. Hey, as, a, as an old uh, wise man once said, win if you can, lose if you must, but always cheat. And Joey, Ooh. apparently it didn't affect him as much. Maybe he didn't catch it all, but Johnson now, what's he going for here? He's trying to one-up him again. Oh, oh, oh whoa, what? Uh, I think Johnson's one-upped him. Yeah. Oh, right on him. Got him that. Now heartbreak now with uh, going back to the to the rear chin lock. Applying that pressure. Oh, now he's got into a sleeper hold. Look at that. And also close to the ropes, oh. and he gets it. Joey's not, not giving this one up. Yeah, Joey Johnson, he's a fighter. I'll give him that. Did you see that? Sneak went right into his shoulder. Yeah, jo John Heartbreak now Ooh. choosing to pick the arm, uh, trying to take away some of the offense of Joey Johnson here. Heartbreak, what's he setting up for? Snap. Oh. Nice suplex by Heartbreak. Uh, Joey's in pain. Yeah, Joey's definitely seen some better days, but Heartbreak now looks like he's going to possibly go for the pin. Wait a minute. Now he's just dragging him. Thought he was going maybe, he's gonna be, uh, maybe he's going to be setting up for something here. And as you hear the fans starting to come alive, yep. chanting a little bit for heartbreak, a little bit for Johnson. He's on the way to the top. Yeah, going up to the high rent district. Here we go. What's he plan to do here? Will Joey get out of this? Will he move? And oh! oh! I think Got he him. actually caught him with his head right in the gut. Oh, what like impact! He, yeah, it looks like he over. It looks like he almost overshot. But he instead inverly headbutt him in the gut. So he definitely caught a piece of him. Both men are definitely hurting right now. Still damage. And the fans get behind him. Joey Johnson. Oh! oh. That's, that's got to be it. One, two, three. Oh. And there you have it. That's Joey Johnson. You're, Joey Johnson just got uh, kicked by John Heartbreak. Heartbreak is your winner. Fans, we'll be back. Fans, go to the WVCW Facebook page and let us hear from you. What would you like to see in West Virginia Championship Wrestling? Leave us a comment on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash WBCW TV. Fans, joining me now is a group called the Nerdy 30. They have their own internet radio show. You can join us right here on the Two Virginias each and every Wednesday at noon. And then Wednesday night, you can listen to these guys. That's right, guys. Every week, we're going to be bringing you exclusive interviews with the WVCW superstars. And if you watch the show the next week, you're going to hear our thoughts on it. We try to come out to the shows. And also, you're going to hear thoughts on comic books, video games, movies, all things nerdy. Tony, anything you'd like to tell them about the show? No, we're just big fans ourselves, and we're proud to bring this footage to you each week. So be sure and join us. Download us on iTunes. There you go, folks. You can listen to the Nerdy 30 radio show every Wednesday at 10 on Blog Talk Radio, or you can go to our Facebook page, facebook.com backslash WVCWTV, and find the link to the Nerdy 30 Radio Podcast. Fans, let's get back to some more great action right now. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, I'm the Cuban Assassin. Welcome to another edition of Cuban's Corner. And here we got Stephen Michael, I do believe, a newcomer into uh, the professional wrestling ranks here in WVCW, West Virginia Championship Wrestling. Stephen Michaels, what I'd like to know is uh, what's the future plans of Stephen Michaels here in WVCW? Well, well see, that's interesting. I, I know you're going to go far, and I know you're going to be able to take yourself to new heights, but i really like to know... Is there a championship goal other than that cruiserweight title coming around your wish? Could we possibly see Stephen Michael again in another match with the big Scotty Blaze for the WBCW heavyweight title? Well, you know, that's impressive. That's a good point you bring up about that. Yes, I did see the match. And, yes, I do know firsthand how devastating that uh, Scotty Blaze can be. But does it make any sense that Scotty Blaze would be on a future uh, show here is like Cuban's Corner and, and say the, the things he did about your mom. Is that is, is that a cool thing to do? 
You know, I agree with you wholeheartedly. He shouldn't talk about someone's mama. And to talk about your mama, and your mama's a good woman, because I, I think she's she's done well by raising you. She got you this far in life, and I don't think you can go any further than this. Well, no, you can. You can go even higher than this. What do you think about maybe getting a tag team partner? Uh, maybe, you know, say someone that may have some experience in, in hand in tag team in tag team competition and maybe go after the tag team titles. What do you think about that? I think that – Well, you know, you and Rubber Ducky could be a good tag team, but I don't think that would be fair to J.C. Dykes Jr. I mean, is Rubber Ducky – he won more matches than he did literally basically, didn't he? I mean, after all, it wasn't Rubber Ducky lost the WBCW heavyweight title. Don't you agree? I'm glad you brought that point up. I mean, J.C. Dykes Jr. has been keeping a lot of people back in some ways and sense, but yet he is a dominating force here in WBCW. And so are you. And I see the match every time you guys get in the ring, and I see every single chance you go, and I see this, this kid here becoming a future, a, a future Hall of Famer. I don't know what hall that may be in one day, but I know you'll be a future Hall of Famer because I just seen you out in the hall a little while ago, and you look perfect in that Hall of Fame right there. What do you think about being a future Hall of Famer? Well, uh, well okay, you know, Tilly Winks, you may be good in that. But let's talk about professional wrestling, kid. This is the wrestling business. And you're here in WVCW. You're here where the big boys are playing now in, in West Virginia in the professional wrestling scene. You're here in the number one wrestling organization in West Virginia, not just the southern state, in the whole entire state of West Virginia. Kind of a prediction. What's the future hold for Stephen Michaels? Well, I plan to go far. You see, fans, even this guy has big plans, and he's going to go far in WVCW. You can't go wrong. You back up Stephen Michael. You tell you what, you know what? I made my vote. I think, yes, this guy could be a future heavyweight contender someday, just not tomorrow. But this is Cuban Assassin with Stephen Michaels. We'll see you next time right here on Cuban's Corner. Welcome to another edition of West Virginia Championship Wrestling. And already we got action in the ring. Oh, and we got he stole his robe and stuff back. What in the world? I have never seen that man move that fast in all my life. Oh, man. Oh. Looked like he was running to the buffet at the end of the rainbow, if you will. <laughs> but, but guys, right. Dave Scott here taking on Stephen Michaels in our opening contest of this week. We hope each and everybody that's watching had a very Merry Christmas. We hope you guys... Hope you, you had a Merry Christmas with your injury. Yes, sir. Um, I'll be back next month, okay. January, for the next season of WVCW. Well, so let's, let's hope, right. hope you a speedy recovery. Like I said, fans, you can leave your comments to him on his Twitter page. Um, Hercules Cortez 1 on Twitter. There you go. I'm sure David House has a uh, Twitter page, too. Yeah, we're buddies. Have, What's up? Yeah, we definitely have a Twitter uh, be that as it may, I just want to say season, late, late, late season's greetings to everybody. Mm -hmm. Except for Stephen Michaels, I wish him a season's beatings, which he's getting right now from yes. David Scott. I cannot stand this cat at all. Yeah, Dave Scott is a, a seasoned veteran against Michaels, and it still baffles my mind oh, yeah. of the, the fan support that Michaels has and what he has accomplished in a short amount of time here in WVCW. I mean, Dave, look in the ring. What is happening right now? What do you, what do you uh, what, exactly, He's what do you see? He's getting stomped. I mean, he is 100% getting stomped, but somehow, some way, as I like to coin it, Miracle Mike is, whoa. Oh, wow. That was a, a nice uh, flip leg drop there into an arm bar. I'll say what this right now, Stephen Michaels has been able to pull out some of the most amazing wins out of nowhere. Yeah, look, you can see just the pain right there of Stephen Michaels' face. And, you know, you know, it's been said, you got Joey Morton, you got oh. Dave Scott, you got Scotty Blaze, then you got the manager of Shotgun Sullivan, but who is this other gentleman out here? To be honest with you, I don't know. 
I'm like, not, I've been trying to figure that out ever since I saw him the first he time. Looks he looks like out. he's keeping security for the team. I was just about to say that. Maybe some kind of enforcer. Maybe a shotgun Sullivan thought he needed a bodyguard, even though he has three of the top stars uh, right now in old school elite. So it doesn't hurt to have extra added insurance, if you will. Yep. Couldn't agree more. Right now, Dave Scott back in the ring is just tearing apart the arm of Stephen Michaels, now going for the cover. He's just having fun. He's, it's like playing with a child. He's, he's destroying him. Yeah, but if you play with a child, you don't try to break him. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has a point there, Achilles. Yeah. Ooh, I mean, I think he had it right the first time. He's toying with Michaels. Yeah. And uh, right now, he's got a key lock on that arm. I think before long. Uh, oh, and look, right there. You can't see. Oh, there it is. Right there. Oh. Shotgun helping Dave Scott. And Shotgun's definitely paying his uh, dividends a little bit here. Oh, yeah. As uh, that key lock's definitely, it tears away at the arm. I mean, the elbow joint especially. Look at uh, if he doesn't watch it, Michael's may be playing that Xbox 360 got for Christmas one-handed. <laughs> Halo 4. <laughs> Great game. <laughs> Should have gotten Atari. <laughs> Wait a minute. Showing some offense. But I think I think Stephen Michaels plays Just Dance more than anything. Just oh. saying. Picture that. Thank you. I, I don't want to. But oh. uh, it looks like the revolution is starting up, oh. and it got stopped. Oh, my goodness. Goes for one too many splashes there. And Dave Scott, this is going to be it right here. Oh. Single arm DDT of, of sorts. About pulls that arm right out of socket. Oh. Yeah, I think uh, Michaels is definitely in some trouble here. Dave Scott, what's he setting up for? He's in another world. Here we go. Just toying with the man, puts him in a, a million dollar dream type sleeper hole. Yeah. Call it the million dollar dream, call it the Cobra Clutch. Either way, it is definitely one of the more painful submissions. And oh, he's, oh, he's shaking him like he's a He's out. Ball. Guys, he's out. I think the referee needs oh, to look at He taps. Done. He taps, fans. That is there it. is your winner, Dave Scott. Uh, I'm going to try to get a, a word with uh, J.C. Dykes and Ricky Shane here, but he's not letting go of the hole. No, no. He's asking, wait, wait, wait. What's going on here? What? 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 Stephen Michaels is your winner. Wait a minute. There you go. The referee has, has reversed the decision. Fans, your winner is Stephen Michaels. A legendary figure who's going to be with us throughout the series. He's a man, well, he needs no introduction. He defeated 3,000 men over the last 30 years with a heart punch. I'm talking about the one and only, the fantastic Ox Baker. When you're 30, 30 years, you probably meant 40 years. And the famous uh, riot that started in Cleveland uh, when you were heart. Oh, Lordy Lad got in the ring, said nobody could knock him down. He was trying to tell me how tough he was. He said he beat his grandmother up a couple times, but when I hit him with that hurt punch, he went down. He stayed down. The people thought I was trying to kill him, so they broke a chair over my head. I only laughed when it hurt me. McKenzie. Tex McKenzie, six foot nine. He was more clumsier than I am. One. You know, I always loved my fans, and I always hated every referee there was. You can beat your wife and your girlfriend, but you can't beat this either.
They're all a bunch of rough and tumble and big, large guys. They can just mow over whoever they want to mow over and get over with however they want to get over and do the things they want to do. But I'm not sure if you got the memo or not. Hojo and I aren't some small gentlemen. Action, action. All you got to do is put your name on the dotted line, punk. <laughs> it kind of looks like you got four guys to me, just for the record. But here's what I'm saying. You insult Diamond like that. That's our sweetheart. You just shut your mouth. Well, I don't know how they grow them in Texas, but where I come from, that yeah. ain't a lady. Yeah. Don't follow Oh, and he hit, comes in and hits him with the ring bell. David House was on the, the brink of tapping out or passing out. See, why would you do that? Why would you hit your opponent? You're going to lose. Well, the winners of this match All will be the outlaws. House is hurt. We don't know when he's going to be back. If the outlaws think they got what it takes, why don't they come on down here and hurt one of us? And fans, the outlaws came out of that locker room like a ball of fire. In the, yeah, but they the ain't going to boys. Long. I guarantee you the bunkhouse boys are definitely going to take care of business. They're going to get payback for me, and I guarantee I'll get more when I can but get no, back in the ring. Left yeah, open for, oh. oh, there you go. Take it to him, Blackheart. Take it to him. Oh, and, and, ah. and Hojo hits him right back with it. I, I, fans. Oh, oh, fans, I don't think this is actually going We're to be We're going to get rid of all these coal miners, make them get an education and get a real job. Do you understand? Obama wants to get rid of the coal miners, and so do I. That's why I voted Obama. He's going to be the, the great president. state of West Virginia. We, we run. We're coal-powered. And that's the way it works. And all those coal miners out there, guys, I'm reaching out to you. I'm letting you know right now, we're with you. Hojo and I, we're the outlaws. We're born and raised, grew up in this great state, and we're with you. And I don't care what the bunkhouse boys say. I don't care what the president of the United States says or anything like that. This is West Virginia. The spirit doesn't run out. We're fighters. We stand up for ourselves. And if you want to ask about a match, well, all the bunkhouse boys have got to do is sign on the dotted line, and the outlaws will be there. Tag titles or not, it doesn't matter. like we left you laying like Obama's going to leave the coal miners unemployed. Just a tag team match here as as I, I can't believe what uh, what we've just seen. The opening of the broadcast showed an interview done with uh, Ricky Shane from last week uh, after he came out and helped J.C. Dykes and, and, um, and Jack Miller but then we seen video, I don't know where we got this video from, of old school elite jumping J.C. Dykes outside the building earlier today before the start of our program. I don't know where they've gone. I don't know what's going on there. Hopefully we'll have some more uh, information as we go along. But here we, here we are with our opening contest of the Bunkhouse Boys taking on the team of Connor Long and J.D. Mustang. Mustang, oh, with a big uh, shoulder tackle there by... Uh, big uh, Billy Blackheart there knocks down Connor Long. I'm sorry, JD Mustang here. As as a tag's been made to the bandit, the bandit now in the ring. Bandit all over JD Mustang here. As we get a tag out here to Connor Long, Connor Long comes into the ring uh, and just hits our, our uh, bandit right there. And he takes him over to this corner. That's a place you don't want to be. And fans, you know, let's not forget uh, last week, what, what a show that was last week with all the matches that we had in the Universal Heartthrobs who are not here this week. They're not here at uh, at at the table with me. I don't know where they're at. Hopefully, Roger, if, Roger, if you can hear me, I hope you have heat. I hope that you have food. I hope that you have eaten because if not, I, I'm sorry. But as we see here, Big Billy Blackheart, they're taking it all over Connor Long. So we see the other two outside, the, the lady friend of the, 
the Bunkhouse boys and David House on the outside of the ring there as he as uh, oh man what a smack there by Connor Long Connor Long just got thrown to the outside of the ring JD Mustang wanting to go check on the man JD Mustang goes down to the man referee uh, is uh, counting there it is a 10 count here it's Big Billy Blackheart is waiting on the inside of the ring for Connor to get back in. Connor makes it back in and tags. Oh, and Bandit just blindsides JD Mustang right there. I don't know why that was, but it looks like Bandit's gonna be the legal man here. Referee doesn't know which one was really legal. As we see here, Bandit taking it all to JD Mustang, going for the snap suplex right here. No, he's gonna set him on the rope. What's he gonna do here? He's sitting him on the top rope. Oh, and hits him with a big right hand. Referee needs to get in about that. It's big Bandit going up. What is this gonna be right here? Is Bandit gonna superplex the man right here off the middle rope? Oh, looks like it. Oh, big superplex there. Could this be it, folks? Go for the cover. One, two, no, he pulls him up. Big Bandit pulls the man up. Referee la really laying it to Bandit there. And now just throws him out to the outside of the ring. That's somewhere he doesn't want to be because David House is right there. David House all over the man. Look, you can see right there from that camera, David House is all over J.D. Mustang. Tag, big uh, bandit needs to get out of there. Big Billy Blackheart is now the legal man in the ring. As they're just laying some fists right in to the man right there. Tag just lays him over the ropes. And I think he just got slapped there by the lady that's out there with the bunkhouse boys. That's the Bunkhouse boys here setting up for another big suplex onto J.D. Mustang. I don't know how many more of these he can take. As he goes for a cover, what's this going to be here? One, two, oh, and Mustang gets his feet on the rope. Man, what a courageous effort there by Mustang. Just pulling him back up by his ear there, does big bully Blackheart. Oh, and a big chop right across the chest. As he's tags out, Bandit back in the ring. Could this be it here? He goes for the big kick. What's going to happen next? As Bandit shoots the man off the rope. Setting him up for, a, oh, what what is it? Oh, what a move there. Oh, and a big splash by big Billy Blackheart. One, two, three. Folks, there you go. There are your winners. The Bunkhouse Boys.